Hi, I'm Emmett Van Dresch, and uh, this is my book, Carving Out a Living on the Land, published by Chelsea Green last year. I'm going to read a section from the chapter called Growth and Its Discontents. The biggest factor I've found over the years that contributes to growth is consistency. That's really it. Just being present, doing your best year after year after year. If you use social media, do it consistently. Post every day or every week and be disciplined about it. Figure out how you can best bring value to your customers. Maybe that takes the form of one recipe a week or writing honestly about what it's like to be a farmer. Or maybe it's a funny newsletter that they will look forward to reading. Maybe it's physical changes like spreading wood chips or gravel on muddy paths or adding a portage on or better signs. I used to hate that the goal of capitalism is to constantly grow. What was wrong with producing just enough? A plant grows and then dies, or the leaves fall, or it goes dormant, and then grows again the next year, right? I've come to realize, however, that this view is too simple. An annual plant grows and dies and grows again each year, but, depending on changes to the soil, it finds it easier or harder to grow. A perennial plant grows and grows and grows. Nothing in life is just cyclical just doing enough and no more. Everything is also either improving or declining. That is just a natural fact. Soils improve or decline, wood rots, species evolve, stars form, and then billions of years later, they collapse. There is nothing inherently wrong with growth. My guess is, if you have taken the time to read this far in a book that gets this nerdy about business, then you agree. But there are many ways to manifest growth, and the trick is to determine the one that is right for you. It is not always about getting bigger. Often, it is about getting smarter, commanding a higher price, improving what you have, building a reputation, and leveraging what you know to grow income on the side. But every year, I expect and plan to do better than a year before. And then I execute that plan, and react, and adjust, and make a new plan based on what worked and where we ended up. I don't try to get it perfect right out of the gate. Instead, if I want to do something, I just start doing it. And trust that so long as I am thoughtful and observant, and don't create a definitive win-lose situation for myself, I will eventually win. I hope you like that. I hope you guys are doing well in this time. And uh, if you are interested in my book, check out Chelsea Green's website. Um, and please let me know what you think if you've read it.